because they're not here. Okay, so again, what are we going to do? We're going to figure out what do we have to move the three. It's multiplied times the variable, so we're going to move it by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal. What's the reciprocal? One third. So what did we do? Don't do this in your notes. I'm just reviewing. We multiplied the left by one third. We multiplied the right by one third. Um, when we did that, here, let me do it this way. Let's see, can I do this? Awesome, look at this. Technology, isn't it awesome? Mm -hmm. So I multiplied the left by one third. I multiplied the right by one third. If you want to, you can put the other numbers over 1 to see clearly the fractions. We then can do 3 divided by 3 is 1. Hey, we've isolated the variable, right? we got an N. On the right-hand side, what does that become? Well, how do you multiply fractions? Top times top, bottom times bottom. But we want to reduce before we multiply. So we can divide that 12 by that 3 and get a 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 divided by 1 is 4, and the answer is N equals 4. Last thing I talked about is how can you check that answer? Well, if you have time after you finish a quiz, after you finish a test, you can go back, put that answer in for the variable. If the left side equals the right side, then it's true, and you found the correct solution. And indeed, n does equal 4 because 12 equals 12. Equations are really easy, guys. I'm just telling you. They are really, 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 really easy, and you can do well with them. Okay. Second situation, got to figure out what we want to move. That's the first thing. Now, I will tell you, a lot of students will miss this one. We kind of practiced it yesterday. So I want everybody to get in your mind what you would want to move. And then we're going to find out if you've got it. So let me give you a moment to think. What do you want to move? I want to move the, and again, what's going to go in this first blank? What are we going to move? All right, who wants to go for it? Matthew, what do you want to move? One seven. How many agree with Matthew? One seven. A few of you? All right, he is right. Right, it is a one seven. You might say, how in the world did he get that? Let me ask you this. If it's an X, how many X's are there? One. If you'll write in the little one there, it becomes a little bit clearer. An x over 7 is exactly the same, listen now, it's important, as a 1 7 times x. But again, if you write in the 1 next to the x, can you clearly see the 1 7 now? Okay. So that's the hard part. If you know that, it's easy to figure out what we're going to multiply both sides by. So we're going to multiply both sides by what? 7 over 1. 7 over 1. And again, if we keep it a fraction, it just makes life a little easier. So again, what am I going to do? I'm going to start the exact same way. I'm going to put the 1. I'm going to include the 1, though. There's 1 over x. I'm going to take my black, put it over 7. I'm going to do equal. I'm going to leave some space. And then I'm going to do negative 3 so I can do my 7 over 1. And then I'm going to take my green, right? Now, do you agree that's exactly what's up above, right? We just copied it so that now I can do 7 over 1 times the left. And 7 over 1 times the right, right? We multiply the left by 7 over 1. We multiply the right by 7 over 1. Make sense? Multiplying by the reciprocal. Yes? On the left, is that 7 over 7? It looks like it, but that's the fraction bar. It's kind of a, an ugly one here. So I'll fix it, make it look a little better here. So that's a 7 over 1 times the left. The green should be exactly the same, right? 7 over 1, 7 over 1. Because remember, if we're going to keep an equation balanced, what you do to one side, multiplication equality, you've got to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so now this next step is always the same. Work, listen now, this is key. Everybody listen. Always work the variable side first because that's what you're trying to isolate. And always think about your variable side and make sure it isolates your variable because if it doesn't, you made a mistake. So if I work the variable side first to the left, look, 7 divided by 7 
leaves me the one X. Isn't that what I want? And I don't need the one. I can just write X. If that didn't give me X, I would know right away I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I did something wrong. Because that's your whole purpose of what you're trying to do is to get to X. Okay, on the right-hand side, this one's pretty easy. A 1 on the bottom, we could disregard it, right? And it's just 7 times negative 3. And we all know that's a negative 21, right? Uh, meant to be blue. It doesn't really matter. So we get x equals negative 21. Again, if you were done with your quiz, if you were done with your test, you could see if indeed you solve this correctly by checking your work. How would I check it? Whoa, I'm in the wrong spot. How would I check it? I put that back in into the original equation for the x. What's a negative 21 divided by 7? Negative 3. And does the other side say negative 3? Yes. Hey, correct answer. Guaranteed or your money back. All right? All right. I know I got the correct answer. Cool. Good. I know I'm right. Now, they're not always easy to check, but sometimes they are. And when they're easy to check, it's easy to figure out and you know you're good. Any questions so far? All right, things multiply times the variable. We're going to move by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal. Let's do another one. So again, first thought is, what am I trying to move? What do I want to move? So everybody should be thinking what you're going to move. Earth to daydreamers. Everybody's thinking, what am I going to move? What am I going to move? Let's do it on three, all right? You tell me what to move on three. Ready? Here we go. Three. Negative two. We are going to move the negative two. Definitely the negative two. All right, so next, get your brain. So therefore, what will we multiply both sides by? I'm going to ask you on three. You tell me on three. You ready? Here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Negative two over one. Uh-oh, that didn't sound one uniform. Over negative two. One over negative two. One over negative two. <laughs> Wait, aren't you Spanish? Okay. Well, are you are you Spanish? <laughs> there we go. How do you say negative? No, right? Is it just do you say no for negative? What do you say for negative? Negativo. Negativo. Negativo dos. And how do you say over? How do you say over? Sweet. <laughs> Loco. I have no idea. My, my dad was trying to learn English, so he didn't teach us Italian. He never spoke Italian in our house because he wanted to learn English. Okay, so again, watch. Just take your colors, reproduce the original, and leave room to multiply both sides by your 1 over negative 2, right? Equations are easy. You guys are going to do great with the equation chapter. So equations are easy. Now again, some students like to make the numbers over 1 to see a little bit more clearly the fractions. That's optional. If you want to, you can. So what side am I going to start on? The variable side. And by the way, when I multiply both sides, I also start on the variable side. Because it's always the variable side that you're dealing with. And just because it's on the left, that's why I'm starting left. If the variable were on the right, I would be starting on the right and then moving to the left. So I look at the left-hand side, and I better make sure that I end up with a single Y. And not only a single Y, but a positive single Y. And I do, don't I? And that's what I want. I don't want to end up with negative Y. i got to end up with positive Y. Because it's no good being negative, right? Hence the message. You won't get to open up God's grace. All right, so we get positive Y. And on the right-hand side, remember to arbum, right? Reduce before you multiply. Can we reduce? Can we divide a negative 10 by a negative 2? We can, and the answer is? Five. Positive 5, right? Because a negative divided by a negative is a positive, right? Negative divided by a negative is positive. 
x is an easy one to check. What's a negative 2 times a positive 5? And that's the answer, negative 10. All right. Because of uh, the difference in time, that's all we're going to do for today. We'll continue and finish this lesson mañana. Hasta la vista, baby.